want to turn now to MSNBC's Ed Schultz, the host of The Ed Show right here on MSNBC. And Ed, your reaction to this, it certainly is a win for the Obama administration. Uh, and as we talk about the politics of all of this, let's not forget about the millions of Americans that are affected by this with the opportunity for equality to basic health care coverage in the future. Well, I think the politics of this in this campaign season makes it a heck of a lot easier for Mitt Romney. He doesn't have to parcel out what he's for or against or even take a position. He now can just run against what he calls Obamacare. So the Romney campaign just got a little bit easier for him today because they can run against the whole thing. Boehner has already said that they're going to have a vote to repeal it in the House on July 9th, which is going to be more political theater. But what I find interesting in all of this is that you had 26 attorneys general across the country who wanted to go after this. And not one of them understood, at least it appears this way, the Anti-Injunction Act, which says that the court cannot rule uh, on anything in taxing until the tax is collected. Now, I think that this was an ideological move uh, beyond by all of these AGs around the country that challenges health care law because they did not want to see President Obama have a victory of any sort. Match that up with the record number of filibusters, and you've got total obstruction across the board. I have to give credit to the Chief Justice, John Roberts. This is balls and strikes. He didn't go down the route of the Commerce Clause. He went down the route of a taxing entity. And they can't rule on it until the tax is collected. This is a big deal. So it, it, he was fair. Uh, he was clearly fair. And uh, I, I think that this is a big victory, obviously, for the Obama team, for 30 million Amer of Americans who didn't have insurance before, for young students who are going to be on their parents' policy. And uh, I, I think that this is going to be easier for the, for the Romney camp to run on. As far as the Obama right. camp is concerned, the Obama camp is going to go out there and be able to say, we were with the people all along. And it's interesting. Reconciliation is how this law was passed, and it's upheld by the Supreme Court. More theater of conversation there. Ed, though, if we talk about this in football terms and President Obama being the quarterback, how many yards did the administration just gain with this Supreme Court decision? Well, you know, I think that they're uh, in the red zone. I mean, I, I think that there's no doubt that this is a big deal for uh, those who wanted to advance health care in this country. Uh, it's not the perfect bill. This isn't what liberals wanted. They wanted universal health care. They didn't even get a seat at the table. They wanted public option. That was never in the deal. But they did get an opportunity to set up in the future exchanges in states that is going to lead us down a road as more people get familiar with this to just how good it's going to be. It is going to get more people covered. It is going to save billions of dollars over the next 20 years. This is going to be better outcomes as far as healthy outcomes for this country. And I think the American people People are going to see this for what it is, a big political play by the right wing to try to stop this in its tracks because I think they know how big a move this really is. And as you point out, uh, the official word from uh, Eric Cantor's office, they're going to try this repeal vote coming up on July the 11th.